Welcome to our third lesson on lucid dream and dream. So you've worked with your intention, you're starting to work with the diary. Now the obstacle that we're going to experience normally is our ability to recall. So this is really about improving that ability. Now the best ways to improve our ability to recall is to have some form of meditation practice. So some form of meditation practice improves our mental stability, it improves our recall, it improves our brain function. There's enough studies now to show that regular meditation has a lot of positive mental and physical uh, effects. So what you want to try and integrate into your day, it can be 10 minutes, it just has to be regular. Even better if it's uh, either first thing in the morning or before you go to bed or 10 minutes first thing in the morning and 10 minutes before you go to bed. If I had to choose which one, I would choose 10 minutes before bed because it's directly affecting my sleep. Now, the first practice is anything like Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril breathing. So sitting up nice and straight or lying in bed, you take your index finger, finger next to it of the right hand, Draw the elbow in, close off the right nostril, big breath in through the left, close the left, breathe out through the right, in through the right, close the right, out through the left. And you're just alternating, you're following that breath, you're breathing in a sense of expansion, you're breathing out a sense of any restrictions or tensions. And you want to do that for about 5 to 10 minutes. It's a really useful way of just getting the energy in your body really centred, really coordinated and that has pretty big implications on improving your memory. Um, a lot of implications of if the prana is moving correctly through our body or the breath that it has quite a big impact on our mind which we've experienced when we get tense uh, or we're tired and that will implicate on our dreams. Uh, another practice is just scanning the body so you might lie in bed, scan the body starting at the feet, moving up through to the arms, to the face. It's like you're scanning left to right, right to left. You're feeling the weight and the shape of the body. You're feeling the breath. You're feeling anything around you. It's essentially an exercise in mindfulness of your body and drawing yourself to your body. And it's normal if your mind wanders, just come back to the body, come back to the gentle scanning up, the gentle scanning down. Another very good practice to work with is even just during the day, paying attention to details. Look around, be mindful during the day, look at your experience, look at what's going on, look at the details of what's going on and you'll find that that improves your recall and also the vividness of your uh, dreaming experience. Uh, also another practice which can be quite useful is just working what's called with the elements. So just sitting in a meditative posture, feeling the earth, the heaviness for a breath, maybe 10, 15 breaths, and then feeling the wind, which is your breathing, feeling the sensation of heat, the fire in your body, uh, the sensation of the space. So it might be the moment between the out breath and the in breath. And then also the sensation of the water, so feeling the heart pumping, the saliva. So it's a very useful practice again for coordinating energies and creating that sensation of balance. So my advice would be integrating meditation in some way and pranayama or breath work. The main ones I see that tend to work is Nadi Shodhana, alternate nostril, body scanning techniques, awareness during the day, and working with grounding the body, settling the body, coordinating the energies. So I want you to work with that this week uh, and just work with that recall, work with your experience during the day and paying attention to your experience. Uh, if you're really struggling with a recall, set that intention into the night. Tonight I will remember my dreams. Tonight I will remember my dreams, repeating it as an affirmation before you fall asleep and trying to drive that through into the night if we're still struggling to cut through.